Do you think there will be a day when AI system can't be denied that it earned that Nobel Prize? Do you think we will see that in the 21st century? It depends what type of AIs we end up building, right? Whether they're, um, you know, goal-seeking agents who specifies the goals, uh, who comes up with the hypotheses, who, you know, who determines which problems to tackle, right? So and I think- tweets about it, announcement of yes, the results. Yes, tweets announce the results, <laughs> exactly, as part of it. Um, so I think right now, of course, it's, it's, it, it's, it's amazing human ingenuity that's behind these systems. And then the system, in my opinion, is just a tool. You know, it would be a bit like saying with Galileo and his telescope, you know, the ingenuity, the, the, the credit should go to the telescope. I mean, it's clearly Galileo building the tool which he then uses. So I still see that in the same way today, even though the, these tools learn for themselves. Um, I, think of the, I think of things like AlphaFold and the, the things we're building as the ultimate tools for science and for, for acquiring new knowledge to help us as scientists acquire new knowledge. I think one day there will come a point where an AI system may solve or come up with something like general relativity of its own bat, not just by averaging everything on the internet or averaging everything on PubMed, although that would be interesting to see what that would come up with. Um, so that to me is a bit like our earlier debate about creativity, you know, inventing Go rather than just coming up with a good Go move. And um, so I think uh, solving, I think to, to, you know, if we wanted to give it the credit of like a Nobel type of thing, then it would need to invent Go uh, and sort of invent that new conjecture out of the blue. Um, rather than being specified by the, the the human scientists or the human creators, so I think right now that's it's definitely just a tool. Although it is interesting how far you get by averaging everything on the internet, like you said, because you know a lot of people do see science as you're always standing on the shoulders of giants, and the question is how much are you really reaching up above the shoulders of giants? Maybe it's just assimilating different kinds of results of the past with ultimately this new perspective that gives you this breakthrough idea. But that idea may not be novel in the way that it can't be already discovered on the internet. Maybe the Nobel Prizes of the next 100 years are already all there on the internet to be discovered. They, they could be, they could be. I mean, I think um, this is one of the big mysteries, I think, is that, uh, uh, I, I first of all, I believe a lot of the big new breakthroughs that are going to come in the next few decades and even in the last decade uh, are going to come at the intersection between different subject areas where um, there'll be some new connection that's found between what seemingly were disparate areas. And, and one can even think of DeepMind, as, a, as I said earlier, as a, as a sort of interdisciplinary between neuroscience ideas and, and AI engineering ideas uh, originally. And so, um, so I think there's that. And then one of the things we can't imagine today is, and one of the reasons I think people, we were so surprised by how well large models worked is that actually it's very hard for our human minds, our limited human minds to understand what it would be like to read the whole internet, right? I think we can do a thought experiment. And I used to do this of like, well, what if I read the whole of Wikipedia? Uh, what would I know? And I think our minds can just about comprehend maybe what that would be like, but the whole internet is beyond comprehension. So I think we just don't understand what it would be like to be able to hold all of that in mind potentially, right? And then f uh, active it at once, and then maybe what are the connections that are available there? So I think no doubt there are huge things to be discovered just like that. But I do think there is this other type of creativity of a true spark of new knowledge, new idea, never thought before about, can't be averaged from things that are known, um, that really, of course, everything come, you know, nobody creates in a vacuum, so there must be clues somewhere, but just a unique way of putting those things together. I think some of the greatest scientists in history have displayed that, I would say, although it's very hard to know, going back to their time, what was exactly known uh, when they came up with those things. Although, I, to, you're, you're making me really think, because just a thought experiment of deeply knowing a hundred Wikipedia pages. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can, um, I've been really impressed by Wikipedia for for technical topics. Yeah. So if you know a hundred pages or a thousand pages, I don't think we can visual, truly comprehend what's what kind of intelligence that is. Yeah. It's a pretty powerful intelligence. If you know how to use that and integrate that information correctly, yes. I think you can go really far. Yeah. You can probably construct thought experiments based on that like simulate different ideas. Mm -hmm. So if this is true, let me run this thought experiment that maybe this is true. It's not really invention. It's like just taking literally the knowledge 
and using it to construct a very basic simulation of the world. I mean, some argue it's romantic in part, but Einstein would do the same kind of things with a thought experiment. Yeah, right? one could imagine doing that systematically across yeah. millions of Wikipedia pages plus PubMed, all these things. I think there are many, many things to be discovered like that that are hugely yeah. useful. You know, you could imagine, and I want us to do some of these things in material science, like room temperature superconductors is something on my list one day that I'd like to, like, you know, have an AI system to help build better optimized batteries, all of these sort of mechanical things. I think a systematic sort of search could be uh, uh, guided by a model, could be, um, could be extremely powerful.